Cruelty Squad, how do I describe thee? My video on upcoming indie immersive sims when I featured Cruelty Squad, one commenter described it looked like a Temple Oss launch title, which feels very fitting. Take aspects of LSD Simulator on PS1, mix in Hitman elements with Deus Ex, throw in Death Grips into the mix, enter into a fever dream, add in the elements of Windows 95 along with late 90s and early 2000s web design, and you have Cruelty Squad. If you're like me and that sounds right up your alley, and check out the early access, or at the very least, keep an eye on it, its development until its full release. For each level in Cruelty Squad, we'll be given targets that we need to take out. We're given an indicator of where the targets are, and usually I'd rather have games not do this, but due to the high difficulty in art direction, I'm totally fine with it here in Cruelty Squad. These levels are quite open, give us a variety of routes that we can take to get to our objectives. Oh, and like any proper game with the immersive sim design philosophy, we can make use of vents. Depending on how well we do in our missions, we'll get money bonuses to buy better upgrades. This can include some trade-offs, like reduced speed for higher damage resistance, or we could get things like making enemies take longer to spot us, or most useful I found with my playstyle, higher jumps. Oh, and speaking of jumps, let's talk about the usage of our feet. In Cruelty Squad, we can make use of a kick. Like a really, really powerful kick. My recent video I did on Dark Messiah, I lamented the fact that most first-person games don't have such a great kick but Cruelty Squad has that covered. It can be a bit iffy to hit the kick at times with a small window of error, but that's due to the increased speed we move compared to Dark Messiah, and also the fact that Cruelty Squad is currently in early access. So I do hope to see future updates where it's easier to hit the kick. But when the kick hits, there's nothing quite like it. Sayonara, suckers. Be prepared to die plenty in Cruelty Squad, although we will respawn back quite quickly. This is what happens when we come to our death. We'll mostly be dealing with human enemies, but there's also these dog-like creatures that remind me of the Hound Eyes from Half-Life. Reloading our weapons in Cruelty Squad is a bit odd and takes a bit to get used to. Instead of hitting the R key as is in most games, Cruelty Squad gets us to use the right click to hold down, move the mouse down slightly to reload. It's an interesting design choice, and early on in Cruelty Squad before you're used to it, you may find yourself hitting R by instinct and wondering why you're not reloading. That happened to me several times. We can replenish our health by eating our fallen foes. Yes, their corpses can heal us, although just ever so slightly. We also have access to vending machines, which provide us more healthy options, along with various food items we can find throughout the levels, like pizza. The current levels in Cruelty Squad have a nice variety, some larger, some more condensed. The third level is my favorite with all the options it has available and being fairly condensed. The second level, while huge, does feature a lot of empty houses and rooms that, unless I miss some secrets, are more or less empty. Perhaps that's something to be filled in at a later time for the game? The music we have for Cruelty Squad is an interesting mix. The first level is straight up death grips. I'm sure a talented taffer out there could mix this to have MC Ride rapping over this music. Paste, pizza, lamps, Jackie Chan. Oh. <laughs> to note, since I first played Cruelty Squad, the game has been updated, so the music on the first level is a little less intense. The other levels for music have a nice variety that's a little more down tempo, but still really hard to put a finger on what I classify it as. As mentioned, you'll be dying fairly quickly in Cruelty Squad. Maybe even a little too quick. But I guess that's also the point of what they're going for. 
We have access to some guns, melee weapons, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, the almighty kick. We have a variety of weapons that we could swap through, only carrying two at a time, but finding these weapons allows us to choose them in our mission loadouts. An issue that the game currently has in some areas, it can be hard to tell the difference between foes and civilians just being around. Granted, when the guns start to fire, the civilians will run in any which direction. They may get in your way at certain points, and you may or may not take them out, accidentally or not. To help, when an enemy can see you, there will be an eye icon on the screen to let us be aware, which I guess is a way of currently addressing it. To go with the interesting aesthetic, it can be a bit hard to read some of the text, and from a usability perspective, I hope it gets addressed. But otherwise, the style just somehow works. As I mentioned in the intro, it evokes a mishmash of Windows 95-98 era Microsoft, along with web design in the late 90s to early 2000s before everything got watered down and filtered through a few select designs. And speaking of text, talking to people gives us this. What an odd sound, and what odd dialogue do we get? The plot here in Cruelty Squad is bizarre to say the least, and quite morbid trying to piece it together, but hey, it goes with the aesthetic. So as it currently stands, you could pick up Cruelty Squad for $20 as an early access title, and I do recommend it. Or at the very least, wait until the full release comes out. Because this is such a bizarre and jarring game that somehow blends everything together and shows a lot of promise. And a whole lot of soul. And since I first picked it up, there's been a few content updates for Cruelty Squad that have addressed some of the early issues I have with the title. So I look forward to seeing everything when it's done. Thanks everyone, I hope you end up checking out Cruelty Squad at some point. Leave a comment, subscribe, you know the whole shebang. Boulder Punch out.